Hello everyone, welcome and again thank you for the support that you're giving to my channel. Um, I'm going to try to upload as much as I can of valuable content that can help your uh, business and also to help you, you know, have a better way for users to communicate with you or for you to sell more products in your website. So uh, I want to thank uh, C7, that's his handle on YouTube. Uh, he's a subscriber. Uh, and he asked me if I can do something regarding WhatsApp because it's very hot right now. A lot of people are using it. Uh, mostly in other countries, I haven't seen it that much uh, in the US except like uh, people that are communicating outside the US. But between the US, uh, not a lot of people still use WhatsApp. But hopefully people that are using WhatsApp in other countries, this video is uh, helpful for you. So I'm going to show you two ways. One is when you click the button, it's going to directly take you to the chat and they can ask you questions. And from there, uh, you know, you can you can handle that part. Then the other option is going to be to add the same type of button, but including a message uh, already in the in the chat. So that way you can customize it as much as you want. Uh, this can be used for many ways uh, of selling a product or service. And uh, for this example that we're going to be doing is uh, for a real estate website. Uh, this is a website that I'm going to be using. It's just a testing page that I have created. And one of the things is you can, again, you can use it for any type of websites. So let's get into it. If you have more questions, uh, it was confusing or something, just please send me a message in the comments and I'll try to respond as fast as possible. Thank you. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to make sure the button gets added into the mobile version only. The reason why is you don't want to add it on the desktop is because whenever they click on it, unless they have installed WhatsApp on their computer, it's going to open. But if they don't have it, it's just going to give them like to a setting that they need to install the application on their computer. So you don't want to make it confusing. So this is what we're going to do. First, you got to go to your page, right? So let's say uh, you already have a repeater. Uh, you already have your database set up and pretty much anybody that comes to any of your listings, once they click on it, either on their computer or on the mobile, which in this case is going to be the mobile version. Uh, then once they're on this page, you want it to be able to have a button right here where they can just send you a message. Okay. So we're going to go to the editor and again, this is going to be very easy to do. So this is the page. Once you add it, because this is a dynamic page, it will automatically add it to all the listings that you have on your website. So you can add it on one place and then you will add it to all the listings. Now, if you prefer or if you don't have a dynamic page, you can add it on the top of your menu bar because that way it will show on all the pages that you have on your website. So you don't have to worry about having a dynamic page. You can add it on the menu and then it's going to work on uh, any of the buttons. So the first time, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the mobile version. And in this case, because we're adding it to a listing, uh, you know, which is in the, in this website, we're going to add it right here. So usually let's say you have everything right there. You're going to make a little space. We want the button to be right here. So what we're going to do is very simple. We're just going to go on button and we're going to add a button right here. Now, because we're adding it on the mobile version, this button is not going to show on the desktop. Once you have it here, all you got to do is just, uh, Customize your button, make sure it gets, you know, exactly the way you want it. You can add the WhatsApp color. Um, I will change the font to make it a little bit more, uh, you know, nice or again, you can design it as much as you want. So we're going to put that and then we're going to add an icon. So here show icon and then we're going to make different icon shape. So let's see where it goes. Uh, let me see where it is. 
show icon then we're gonna click here layout I'm trying to find where the icon button is so we can change it and okay here it is change the icon we're gonna click on this and then we can go find here the let's say email or we can say yeah email or let's say chat so it's easier so we can do something like this and again you can customize this as much as you want so we're gonna go back to the design icon we're gonna give a little bump right here so it's pretty big and then we want to make sure there's space so that way it's not so close to the letters and then here we're gonna name it what's up okay perfect so now this is where the fun part comes this is where you're gonna be adding a, sp a special link now this link you can um, if you're the creator or the page then you might have to add some instructions uh, for how to change this or you can tell the client whenever you want to change it you can show them how to do it uh, but it's not complicated but it's a little bit confusing if they they're not sure what they're doing okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go here where it says link and then we're gonna go where it says web address and right here I'm gonna give you this link that you need to use so let me put it right there we're gonna paste it right there so now to make sure you get it right I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna add it here uh, so that way you can see it clearly let me add this right here that way you can copy it uh, also I can put on the comments so you can just copy there uh, so let's add a little box go here and we're gonna go on a box okay so let me write it right here oh forget that i'm on the i'm on the what do you call it on the mobile version so it might not show so let me just make sure i add a text here actually let's do let's do this on the desktop so that way you guys can see the link but again i'm gonna add it on the comments just in case uh, that way you don't you don't get confused so scroll right here so you can see it and we're gonna make this 20 and there it is that's that's a link and I, there's two of these links so this one is again just a this is just a number okay so if you add this link so it's https double whatever it's called um you know forward slash api dot whatsapp dot com here where it says number this is where you need to add the number now this is important when you add the number if you're in the us you make sure you add a number one if you're in another country uh you might have to add zero zero depends on your area like country area code so in the us it's a one so i will say uh 408 and let's say this is the number so it's uh, and right there okay so that's the number and you don't want to add any dashes or any spaces it has to be exactly like this uh, and let me do this to not make it confusing we're gonna add another page here just that way it's very clear and easy okay here okay here so that way it's not confusing so you, as you can see here the first link you just add uh, your phone number right there and make sure again you add the number uh, of the area code of your country because if you don't do it whenever they click on it it's not gonna open the app and it might just give a message saying this uh, this number doesn't exist or something like that so just keep that in mind then we're gonna add another one uh, the other button and the other option and right now I'm gonna show you we're gonna actually do it on the button so that way you see exactly what it's gonna look like the other option is for you to add a small message so we're gonna do this 
And with this one, as you can see, it has a little bit more, uh, uh, more um, code into it or numbers. So here, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta add the phone number right here. See where it says one, two, three, four, five, six. Then this is the number that you're gonna be using, your phone number, okay? Again, make sure you add uh, the area code and then your phone number. So let's say that's your number, then you're gonna add it there. Then where it says test, this is where you can replace the message for something like, um, I don't know, the company name. Uh, you can say like, uh, I'm interested because what it's gonna do is this is gonna generate on the message before the person start typing. So whatever you put here, it's gonna show automatically on there. So they can just like click send and then they're like, I'm interested. Or you can also name it, I don't know, I'm interested in the service or please contact me or whatever it is or my name is so that way the person types their name so whatever you want to type on this uh the first link it, they do both work the same way the only difference between these two is that the second link you can add a pre-message and the first one it will just open the app okay so we're gonna leave those there now we're gonna go back to our dynamic page again if you add it on the menu uh so that way it shows on all the pages it's up to you but if not we're just gonna go back to um we were here okay and let's go to the first one and right now because we're on the desktop you're gonna see the button is not showing as you can see it's not there because we're adding it on the mobile but if i go on the mobile version you're gonna see the button is right there see so we're gonna continue uh editing this so we're gonna add two buttons so that way you guys can see the difference so let's say i like the design um let's go on hover and i want the hover to be different color uh, let's say I want it to be blue uh, yeah it can be anything so we're gonna duplicate this button and you can decide which one you want to use you don't have to use both of them because again one of the buttons has a message and one is just blank. So the first one, we're gonna go on the little link, web address, and then we're gonna use the first one that I gave you, which was this code right here. Okay. Um, as you can see, it's that one. So this one is just a phone number. So here where it says number, that's where you're gonna type your phone number. So let's say if your area code, if you're, you're in the US, it's gonna be one. If you're in Mexico, I think is uh, 011. And then if you're in other countries, I'm sorry, I'm not sure, um, but it depends on the area code that you have in your country, that's the number. Then let's say that's the phone number. And then uh, it's three, and that's the phone number, okay? So that's the phone number, so once you add it, it's all done, so all you gotta do is click done. And then we're gonna move to the next one. We're gonna go again where it says link, web address, and then we're gonna paste the older code I have earlier. So it's gonna be this one right here. Uh, in this one, it's gonna be the same concept. First, we're gonna go here and add our phone number right here. So it's already gonna have this preset numbers, but here's you can add your phone number. Uh, okay, so that's your phone number. And then you're gonna go all the way to the end and where it says test, this is where you can put your message. I am, or um, uh, interested, or whatever the message is. And then you can make it as long uh, as you want in your services, okay? So you can click done and that's it. Now you just gotta click publish and it's all good to go. So now if we go to the page uh, on the, again, we're gonna go on the desktop. You're gonna notice the buttons are not there. But if we go on the mobile version, uh, the, the buttons are, are right there. 
So because I'm on my computer right now, these buttons are not gonna work. They're gonna give me a message like this. I already have WhatsApp on my computer, so it's just showing this. So it just says open WhatsApp and it will open my WhatsApp. But if the person doesn't have that in their computer, it's just gonna show this message and they have to install it. That's why we don't put it on the desktop, only on the mobile. Now I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look on the cell phone. So let's let's check that out. Okay, so once you added the two buttons, it should look like this on your mobile device. And again, uh, there's two different buttons. So one that doesn't have a message. So we're gonna test the first one. And as you can see, uh, it opened directly the chat so they can start typing a message. Uh, the, second, the second button is the one that we, uh, we added as a, mess, as a button with a message. So it's going to open it, but it's automatically going to add a message to it. So as you can see at the bottom, it already added the small text that we added on our button. So that way all they had to do is just click send and it's already, uh, you know, ready for them. That way you can respond and chat with the person using the WhatsApp. Uh, so if you have any other questions, just let me know.